Hello everyone, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. We are gonna be taking a look at what it is that you need to know to book a private session with me. All of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. What do you need Taurus to know about the recent past? Spirit, what do you need Taurus to know about the recent past. What is in highlight for Taurus when it comes to the recent past? So we have the lovers coming out here first. This is a collaboration in the recent past. These are plans being made. This is a meetup, a meeting, okay? I feel like two people are on the same page about something. Okay, this is Gemini energy. I feel like there is coming together or people getting along here. Talk to me about the lover's energy in the recent past. Why is this important? Spirit, why is that important? The Queen of Swords energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I feel like there is someone guiding you or telling you that you should be getting along with somebody or there's this energy presenting itself of collaboration, two people working on something together. Not every time when we see the lover's card does that mean that we're talking about love, right? This could be some type of coming together, reunion, camaraderie. This is understanding each other mutually. Okay. It's like someone is encouraging this whole thing to happen for some reason in the recent past. I don't know if like there's somebody else in your environment that has been pushing you to do something. They think that it would be a good idea they want you to follow through with something. Tell me more about that. Tell me more. What is this? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, all air energy. Okay? So if this is not in reference to something that you're going through, think about the air signs around you. All right? So I feel like there's something that you're deciding to do here in the recent past Nobody can change your mind about it. I feel like it's fairly positive on your end, Taurus. I feel like you want to work on whatever it is with somebody. You have made your choice, made your selection. And on the other side of that, there is this Five of Swords energy. So it's like you want to go ahead with a certain project or whatever this work situation has to do with. And there's somebody over here feeling threatened, or feeling some type of way. Unfortunately, right? Can we just have a positive reading? No, because <laughs> we have to get this negative five of swords energy of somebody being defensive here. So let's take a look at why they are defensive. Spirit, talk to me about this five of swords energy. What does this have to do with? What is the five of swords here for Taurus? What is the five of swords energy here for Taurus? In the recent past, okay, even more Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, major emphasis on the air signs. Okay, so whomever this five of swords person is, this individual who's very defensive and feeling like they need to defend themselves against somebody, okay, I feel like this is somebody who's threatened by you or threatened by the decision that you made to collaborate with someone or work on a connection. I just feel like you made a choice. You made up your mind about something, okay? Think about all the choices that you've made recently, not necessarily having to do with love, but it's like you're choosing to go a certain way, a certain route, and this individual is defensive, okay? They are in the Nine of Swords energy, stressed out, worried about something, what are they worried about? What is this person worried about? What is this person worried about? 
Ah, this is what they're worried about. They're worried about you. Why are they worried about Taurus? Why are they worried about the Queen of Pentacles? Why are they worried about the Queen of Pentacles, please? What does that have to do with? Because of the Queen of Wands. All right, so we have a juggler. We have somebody here who is worried because of the Queen of Wands, but then there's this Queen of Pentacles. They're worried about the Queen of Pentacles while being worried about the Queen of Wands. It's like somebody needs to pick one. Okay, there's a fire sign energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then we have Taurus with the Queen of Pentacles. This person is worried about you, but they have a Queen of Wands, or there's another energy around. They don't know how to make a choice. They don't know how to choose, all right? I feel like you made a choice already, right? Remember, and I always reference to the fact that we're not talking about love all the time. Metaphorically speaking, just open up your mind to everything else that you have going on, right? So it's like you made a choice. They haven't made a choice, though, obviously. They have not made a choice, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what's stressing them out. You made up your mind. They haven't. They have two options here. They don't know which way to go. Talk to me about the present. Talk to me about the present here for Taurus. Talk to me about the present. Talk to me about the present. Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Listen, I don't know who is guilt tripping. I don't know who's still in this energy, but it's like somebody wants to say something to you. Who is that? Is that your homegirl, your homeboy? Is that one of your family members that feels bad about something that they did to you? You know, they trying to be nice to you. In the present moment, somebody wants to, even if they haven't said anything. This is the energy presenting itself. It's like page of cups to the seven of pentacles. Tell me more about that page of cups. Who is that page of cups? Talk to me about the page of cups, please. Who is the page of cups? Who's the page of cups? Seven of cups. Like whomever it is that's doing all of this, it's like they want to offer you something, but they got all of this going on. Probably why they haven't made a choice yet, but they still want to like talk to you about something. I don't know what they want to talk to you about. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, heavy water. What do they want to talk about? Spirit, what do they want to talk to Taurus about? Oh, no. The Capricorn energy? The, the devil? All right, this is somebody who's obsessed. Look, Capricorn to the King of Pentacles. We got the devil to the King of Pentacles. Somebody is obsessed. All right, that's why this past week we've been talking about restraining orders and, you know, um, making sure that you take legal action if you have to because this person right here, they just seem thirsty to me. But then they have a Queen of Wands. So why are you concerned about Taurus when you're over there dealing with a Queen of Wands energy? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Does not have to be, but a Queen of Wands is fire sign, all right? Now, what is the future for whatever it is that's going on here in this energy? We have a moon in Scorpio today. Talk to me about the future for Taurus and whatever this is. What is the future here? The fool, didn't he? The fool came out in this position, right? Was it the present position or in the future position? I think it was the future position. We had this fool and here he is again. What is this fool here for? What is this fool here for in the future for Taurus? What is this? Oh, somebody trying to fight for something. Oh goodness, stalker vibes all up in their feelings queen of cups this is some stalker ass energy listen four of wands you make them happy whomever this is it's like yeah i just feel like you're minding your own business here eight of pentacles four of wands 
Taurus is like, I'm good on something, but there's like this energy that persists, but they haven't made a choice. You made a choice. They haven't. That's what I'm getting. Anything else for Taurus? The chariot. Moving on. Taurus is like done. You're done with something or somebody. Scorpio energy, judgment. There's somebody that wants it back. They want something back. Look, three of cups energy. The fool again. All right, this person's going to be persistent. All right, we've been warning you about whomever this fool is. Okay, back to back. They don't want to give up, Taurus. All right, so be careful out there. And um, just when you think you're not being watched, that's when it's probably happening the most. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus, to book a private session. All of that info is below. Take care.